trickiest bits. Slowly now. One stroke at a time. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're doing fine. Phew! Done! What do you think, Grandpa? Isn't it beautiful? Well, lovely. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> You've done a great job. <laughs> Thank you, Pock. <coughs> Pilot Luigi, co-pilot Pock. <coughs> Ready for takeoff? <coughs> oh, watch out! Oh. Whoops! Sorry, Pock. Oh. oh, not to worry. It'll easily wash off in your bird bath. Hawk! Hurry up! We're about to take off! Uh, uh, not quite yet. The paint's wet. You'll have to wait a little while until it dries. Mm. Can't we make it dry faster? Mm, well, let's see. Mm -hmm. Ah! <laughs> huh? There! With the breeze, it won't take long. Great idea! But how much time is not long? Oh, more or less the time it's going to take to tidy up. Grandma wouldn't be happy if we left the table in a mess, would she? Oh, no! She wouldn't! You put that away in your room while I throw this in the kitchen dustbin. Okay, Grandpa. And then, can I play with my plane? <laughs> I think so. Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Not so fast, Sue. We need to check the paint before. What's wrong? Oh. How did that happen? I don't know. The breeze must have blown it off. I'm afraid my idea wasn't so great after all. What's this? I don't think it was the breeze. Really? I think it was you. You knocked it off when you came back in from the garden. Uh, are you sure those feathers are pox? Who else has feathers in the house? Well, they do remind me What's of... What's the matter? My plane is broken and we found a feather next to it. I'm sure it's pock. Hmm? Oh, it must have been me. You? The plane probably fell after I moved it to dust the windowsill. <gasps> So it wasn't Spock. I'm sorry I broke your plane, Zoo. That's all right, Grandma. It was an accident. You didn't mean to do it. I'm sure it can be fixed. Don't worry yourself. Thank you, dear. <sighs> it's not as bad as it looks. Come on, a little glue and patience will do the job. Do you really think you can mend it? Yes, of course I can. Come on. There. As good as new. Thank you, Grandpa. Mwah. You're welcome. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Pilot Zoo to co-pilot Pock. Ready for takeoff. <laughs> hmm? Pock! 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 Where are you? Pock! Pock! There you are! Look! Grandpa's mended it! Come on! What are you waiting for? 
looking for. Let's play. Oh. Well, I don't really need a co-pilot. <laughs> Oh no! Engine trouble! We're not going to make it over the mountain! We made it! Puck? Oh! You can be Pilot Park and I'll be Co-Pilot Zoo. Will you come and play now? Hmm. Hold on, don't move. I'll be right back. inside. What do you mean? You may not know it, but you might have hurt Pock's feelings when you blamed him for your broken plane. Oh, I didn't mean to. It was a mistake. Pock knows that. Even so, my guess is that he's waiting to hear you say that special word. What special word? You know, the word you say when you've done something wrong and want to make it right again. Oh, that special word. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Pock. I shouldn't have blamed you for breaking the plane, and I should have said sorry to you straight away. Are we friends again? Thanks, Pock. <laughs> We did it! We landed safely! <laughs> I knew you were the bird for the job! <laughs> Come on, Sue. There's a lot to do to get everything ready for our garage sale. Coming, Grandpa. Do you want to sell this? Yes, 
Yes, Sue. Bring that. <laughs> the idea of a garage sale is you sell everything you don't want or need. Oops. Like this hat stand. Exactly. Not to worry. I'll soon have this fixed. Hmm? Oh. Sue, can you help me with this? Just tell me when the table leg is over the slot. Okay, Dad. Think it's in now. Well done, Zoo. You're a great helper. Stuff. Yes, there's quite a lot. Hmm? <laughs> that was mine. I used to dance to it all the time, just like this. <laughs> <laughs> May I have this dance? <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess we'd better get on, or we'll never be ready when people turn up. Yes. Come on, everyone. There's work to do. <laughs> Mum, hmm. Grandpa said you sell what you don't need in the garage sale. That's right, Sue. How do you know what you don't need? Well, it's something you've not used for a while, or you've had for a long time. Hmm. So maybe I could sell what I don't need. Well, as long as you're sure, Bizu. I'm sure. I thought Zoo loved all his toys. What do you think, Pock? I don't play with this much anymore. And what about this? I think someone will buy that for sure. These will look great on my stall. Come on, Pock. Ugh. Let's get this stuff outside. Ooh. Whew. Ugh. Need a hand, Zoo? Thanks, Mum. <laughs> there you go. Now you can have your own stool. Great! Hmm. It looks a bit empty next to Mum's stool. We need more toys, Pock. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Pock. I've had this bear for a long time now. And we've played with this a lot. Come on, Pock. We have to get all this onto my stool. <laughs> Look how much stuff I've got to sell now, Mum. I can see. And you've put Blue Bear on there, too. You paid for him with your pocket money. Hmm. Are you sure you want to sell him? Yes! You were really happy when you bought him. I know, but I want to sell him now. Zoo! Zoo. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Zoo's toy stool. That's the way, Zoo. You're a natural salesman. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> Hello. I'm Blue Bear. I'm your best friend. You know, Pock, I don't want to sell Blue Bear after all. <laughs> <sighs> I've got this already. And this. <laughs> Thanks. Now I need to buy a hat or ten. <laughs> These will look 
splendid on my baby grand piano. Do you really want that, Elsie? You could take something else. Some of the pieces might be missing, but we can count them. Yes, but it's very old. I had it when I was very young. I think it will be all right. Oh. I don't know. I think it's best not to sell it, just to be sure. Sue, you don't really want to sell this, do you? Not really. I'll have this instead. Phew. Oh, look at you. I wanted that game for ages. I'll take this then. This is okay, I suppose. My zoo, you have sold a lot. Yes, my store looks nearly empty now. Good. Thanks, Zack. <laughs> oh, this is great, too. <gasps> no, that's not for sale. Zack, Zoo put his jigsaw there because he didn't want to sell it. Oh, sorry, Zoo. I didn't know. It's okay, Zack. You want to know. Hmm? Zoo, I want to buy this. Here, have some money. No, not that. It's my favorite bear. Then why was it on your store? Um, I must have put it back on the table by mistake, huh? Well, sorry, but I bought it fair and square. <laughs> Hello, I'm Blue Bear. Tickle my tummy. Look, Mummy, isn't this the best bear ever? <laughs> Hello, I'm Blue Bear. Tickle my tummy. It's so cute. I love it. Oh, Zoo sold you Blue Bear. It was his favorite. Hmm. I can't believe I sold Zinny a Blue Bear. Maybe she'll take something else for him. Like what? She's seen everything on my stool. Come on, there's no harm in asking her. Zinnia, is there anything else you take for my bear? You mean my bear? No, there's nothing I want. I like my bear. But, please, I didn't mean to sell him. Can I buy him back from you? No, Zoo. I don't want anything else. Oh. oh. Whee! Look at this, Zoo. Watch it fly! See, Zack? It lights up. It. But I want it. I'll swap you my blue bear for it. I don't want the bear. I want the plane. Zack, if you find something you like too, then I can get my bear back. Well, I like the game Elsie bought, but it's hers. Elsie, you can have anything on my stall if you give the game to Zack. Then he can swap his plane with Zinnia and then I can have Blue Bear back. Okay, Zoo, if that's what you want. It is. You just pick what you like instead. <laughs> I like this. Here you are, Zack. Thanks, Elsie. And this is for you, Zoo. Thanks, Zack. Here's your blue bear, Zoo. Phew! We all got what we wanted. Well done, Zoo. I knew you'd sort it out. Yes. In the end, swapping turned out to be more fun than selling things. I might even do it again. 
fun day. <laughs> <laughs> Are great, Grandpa. I can't wait to show Elsie. Elsie, ready for the race? I've been ready for ages. Grandpa and his assistant. <laughs> I decorated them. Can we start? Of course. The first car that drives once around the house wins. Right. Hold on while I go and tell everybody. Mom, Grandma, hmm? the big race is about to start. Oh, well, we don't want to miss that, do we? Absolutely not. We'll be there right away. Yeah! Dad! I'll pop upstairs and tell Nana. I'm sure she'd like to watch the big race too. Oh, she does love a race. Dad! Dad! Yes, Sue? The big race. It's starting. Coming. Hurry up. Are you all right? Nothing serious. I'm fine. Just slipped. Ouch! Oh, oh, ah, ah, oh. What's wrong? Oh, I think I've sprained my ankle. Here, lean on me. Slowly. I'll go and get the ointment and bandages. Oh, ah, oh, ah. going to wait? I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps you should go and see what's keeping them. Okay. How does that feel? Much better. Thanks. Mom, Dad, Grandma, we're waiting for you to start. Oh. What happened? A silly little accident. I slipped on the stairs and twisted my ankle. A couple of days rest and it'll be as good as new. Does it hurt? Not even a teeny weeny bit. The only problem is being stuck in this armchair all day. Hmm. Like me, when I caught zebra flu last winter and had to stay in bed all day. It was so boring. I'm afraid I'm going to suffer a serious attack of boredom stuck here. Hmm. No, you won't. I'll keep you company. But what about your big race? You're more important than the race, Dad. That's very kind, Bizu. <laughs> the race is off. I need to help my dad. But you can still drive around the garden, Elsie. Do you mind? Of course not. <laughs> Four. One, two, three, four. Hey! <laughs> it's your turn, Zoo. Dad to Zoo. Hello. Your turn. Ah. Yes. Sorry, Dad. Six. One, two. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom. She's gonna win. <laughs> Three, four, five, six. Sue, are you sure you want to go on playing this game? No, you're right. I'll go get another one. Dad, 
Dad won't notice if I run out and have a quick race around the garden. Bizu? Mum! I... Grandma was really impressed when I told her you gave up the race to keep Dad company. She's going to give you an extra yummy piece of chocolate cake. Yummy! Oh, Dad's waiting for a new game. <laughs> Do you have, in the baker's family, the daughter? Mm. Brum, 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 brum. Yay! Brum, brum, brum. Zoo. Mm. Oh, yes, um, the daughter. Here you go. The baker's daughter, Zoo, not Miss Cod. Oops. Why don't you run out and play with Elsie for a while? But what about you? I'll be all right. I can read my paper. Chocolate cake for an extra nice little zebra. Mmm. Thank you, Grandma. My pleasure, dear. It's all right, Dad. Really, I won't let Elsie distract me anymore. Mmm. <laughs> Sue. <laughs> oh, oh, I feel a bit tired. I think I'll have a nap. Oh, do you mind if we finish the puzzle later? Oh, if you're sure, Dad. Hmm. All right, just give me a shout when you wake up. Okay, then. On your marks, get set, go! your accident. How's your ankle? It's much better now I've rested it. Where's Zoo? <laughs> huh? Zoo, watch out! Should be Elsie. But Zoo, what were you thinking of? It's Dad. He's awake. And I can't have fun while he's stuck in his armchair. I've got to go back inside. Unless we could ask Dad to join the big race. In his armchair? Yep. Grandpa, could you put wheels on his armchair? Yes, of course. <laughs> what a good idea. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> this is great fun. <laughs> vroom, vroom. This was a brilliant idea, Zoo. No chance of being bored now. <laughs> Thank you. Not too fast, Dad. Watch your ankle. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh no, you've overtaken me. The winner is Zoo! 
Here we are. Everybody out. I wish Elsie had come to the aquarium, too. She's been really sad since she lost Gizmo. He's her favourite bear. Maybe it would have cheered her up. Has she looked everywhere? Yes. We even looked in our garden and her garden. So... Elsie! I'll just go and see how she is, Mum. OK, Bizu. Hi, Elsie. Hi, Zoo. It's a shame you didn't come to the aquarium. It was really cool. I'm glad you had fun, but I wanted to look for Gizmo. If you want, I can help you look for him some more. That's all right, Zoo. I just need to check here, then I've looked everywhere I can think of. But thanks. OK, see you later. Bye. <laughs> Is everything all right, Bizu? It's just Elsie still sad about Gizmo. I wish I could cheer her up. It's a shame she didn't go to the aquarium. I've been hearing about what a great time you all had. Oh, yes, Grandma. It was brilliant. The fish were amazing. So many different colours. Oh, I never knew there were so many kinds of fish. Zoo, how about we make an aquarium, as you enjoyed visiting that one so much? <laughs> That'll be fun, Grandpa. We can make one with fish that don't eat and don't need water. We can make them ourselves and put them in a tank. I know. I can make it for Elsie to cheer her up. That's a super idea, Bizu. <laughs> to the garage, then. We have most of the things we need there. OK, Grandpa. The first thing we need is a tank. Um, ah, here we go. This was your dad's. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, somewhere in here is the box with all your dad's old things in it. do we have in here? Ah! Whoops! <laughs> now we need some gravel for the bottom of the tank. OK, Grandpa. See, Zoo, you just take the bag and scatter it on the bottom of the tank like this. I can do that, Grandpa. <laughs> that looks very nice, Zoo. I found these in Dad's box. They can go into the tank, too. Perfect. I knew they'd come in handy one day. Here's a diver's helmet, Grandpa. But there's no diver with it. Hmm. Maybe you could use something else. This'll do. It's just the right size for the diver's helmet. It looks great. All we need now is some fish. We can make those in the kitchen. Come on. You two have done well. Thanks, Mum. We came in here to make some fish. But I think the tank needs seaweed, too. Here's some wrapping paper you can use. Wow, that looks great. I have to pop out, but I'll be back later to see it finished. Bye. OK, Dad. Cut that out for you, Zoo. It looks cool! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Hook. This can be a corkfish. Some silver foil fins would look good. They're very easy to make. Look. There you go. One fish. And if we tie this bit of wool on here, and we hang it from the top, <laughs> it'll look like he's swimming in your tank. Great! We've made Elsie's first fish. And here's some more. You just need to decorate them. See what kind of fish you can make these into. If we tie the wool to this, then your fish can swim happily. Happily in water. Wow, thanks. I love it. It's ready to show Elsie now. Thanks for helping me. Why don't you give her a call? Here you go. Surprise for you. Okay, see you soon. She's coming. <laughs> I think she's here already. Hi, Elsie. Hi, Zoo. I'm glad you came round so quickly. Come with me. Hello. Hello, Elsie. Sorry to hear you still haven't found your bear, Gizmo. Hmm. I know it doesn't replace Gizmo, but I made this to cheer you up. Will, with Mum and Grandpa's help. <gasps> oh, Zoo, it's lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Can I make a fish too? Yes, that's a great idea. <gasps> oh, Zoo! You found Gizmo and put him in there too. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, Elsie? My bear. He's in your tank. <laughs> I don't understand. The diver. That's Gizmo. But it can't be. It was in my dad's box. No, Zoo. It's Gizmo, really. Hello, everyone. How's it going? <laughs> Fine. But we have a mystery. It seems like Elsie's lost bear has turned up in Zoo's aquarium. Hmm. Oh, I must have picked it up off the floor wh when I was going through a box of your old things. Hmm, well, I don't think it's mine. I must have left Gizmo when we were in the garage fixing my bike. Hmm. He can stay there. For a little while. He makes a brilliant diver. Wouldn't it be great if we could swim with the fish, just like Gizmo? Maybe we can! What if we made my bedroom into a huge fish tank? That's a great idea, Zoo. All we need is a few bits of cardboard to make the fish and some balloons. Yes, we can use the balloons left over from Zoo's birthday and those green streamers from last Christmas for seaweed. It's going to look brilliant! at all these fish. <laughs> Let me help you. Uh, I'm the seaweed <laughs> monster. Uh. <laughs> Just one last thing to do. <gasps> wow. This is so cool. We're swimming with the fishes. Hello. Can I have your attention, please? Zoo. You did such a nice thing today, making Elsie an aquarium. Your mum and I thought you'd like one of your own. Wow! My own fish to look after! Thanks! They're great! They can sleep with me tonight! Hmm. <laughs> I must be the only zebra that sleeps 
it's in an aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not again. When can I fill my bowl with another cereal? We only have to get through these first. Oh, I'm not sure I can eat any more of this. <sighs> Never mind. At least Zoo can have his robot soon. Hmm. Yes. Can you cut this one out, Mum? I only need this one, then I can get my robot. Today is the last day you can get one. Here you go. Thanks, Mum. Has Elsie got all her tokens yet? I don't know, but she said she had a lot. Grandpa, can we go to Mr Zoe's now, please? OK, Sue. Let's go. Yippee! Whoops! Thanks, Pock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Huh? I need another one. Don't worry, Sue. We'll go to Mr. Zoe's and buy another box of cereal. Great! Then I can get my robot at the same time. Let's go! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Zoe. Hello! Hello, Sue. Oh, hi, Mr. Zoe. What can I do for you today? We'll take a box of Crunchy Top cereal. I've got just the one left, but there's no robot token on it. Elsie bought the last robot box earlier. But there has to be one. Maybe it's very small. Hmm, no. But this one has clown tokens you can collect. A clown doll? I don't want that. I want a robot. I thought I'd saved all the tokens. You got the one from Nana as well. Which one, Grandpa? Oh, my, oh, my. It must have slipped my mind. I, I forgot. Forgot? Grandpa, quick, we have to go back to see Nana. Bye, Mr. Zoe. Bye. <laughs> Come on, Grandpa, we have to get the token. <laughs> Elsie can't have all her tokens yet either. <laughs> Or Mr. Zoe would have said she got a robot. Yeah, yes, I, I suppose you're right. <laughs> Nana! 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 Oh. Nana! Nana! Where is it? Uh, where is what? My robot's token. Grandpa said you had one for me. Oh, that. Why didn't you say so? I have it right here for safekeeping. Oh, oh it isn't here. But it has to be there, Nana. I'm sorry, Sue. It isn't. I wonder where I put it then. Okay, everyone. We have to find Nana's missing token, or I can't get my robot. Today is the very last day to get one. I'm going to look in the kitchen. I'll help you, Bezu. I'll check our bedroom. I'll keep searching in here. And so will I. Don't worry, Sue. We'll find it. I hope so. Hmm. No, not here either. I don't think it's in here. I'm going to see if Grandpa and Grandma found it. Mm. Any luck? Got... Oh, sorry, Sue. But you know Nana likes to put important things in books. But there are so many books. Oh, yes. And we didn't even check the books in Nana's room yet. Well, it's not in How to Knit a Battleship. Um, no, it's not in How to Build a Car. And it's not in How to Tame Your Garden. It's not in any of them. 
sorry, Zoo. It wasn't in our bedroom, but I have an idea. It might be in the recycling box. The recycling van hasn't been yet, so there's a lot of cardboard in there. Great idea, Dad. Let's go and see. Not here. Mm. Oh, here. Ooh. Here, Zoo. I'll take some. No, it's definitely not here. Let's go back to the house. It might be in the hall. Sometimes things are left on the shelf. OK, Dad. Sorry I can't remember where I put it, Zoo. Never mind, Nana. I'm sure we'll find it soon. Hmm? Hi, Zoo. I just came around to see if you got your robot yet. Not yet, Elsie. I'm missing one more token. Nana put it somewhere safe, but we don't know where. Did you get your robot? No, I'm missing the last token too. I guess I'll just have to wait until next time. Oh, I have to pick up the post with my mum. I hope you find your token in time. See you, Zoo. See you later. The post. Just in case. Nothing here. Well, that reminds me. I need to post some letters. They're in my bag. I'll go and get it for you, Nana. Oh, thank you, Zoo. Here it is, Nana. Thank you, Zoo. I'll put them here. Hmm. Nana, that one has my name on it. It does? That's it, Sue. It's your token. Oh, I remember now. I put it in an envelope. It must have got mixed up with my letters. There you go, Sue. Thank you, Nana. <laughs> now, I just need to get my other tokens from the kitchen. And then we can get my robot, Grandpa. OK, Zoo. Thanks again, Nana. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We can go. Mm -hmm. But, Zoo, it says you need 12 tokens to get a robot. But that means I still don't have enough. Mm. Now I'll we'll never get a robot. Hi, Zoo. Hi, Elsie. Didn't you get your robot either? No, I'm still missing one token. Just one. Me too. Elsie, I've got it. We need 12 tokens to get a robot. But we only have 11 each. Yes, but if you give me one of your tokens, then I'll have 12. That's enough for one robot between us. You mean we'd share it? Yes. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. OK, so let's do that. Grandpa, we've got enough tokens. Can we go to Mr Zoe's now? Elsie is coming too. Here are the 12 tokens, Mr Zoe. Congratulations, Zoo. You finally got them all. Here you go. <laughs> you got the very last one. Thank you, Mr. Zoe. Right, you two. Let's get home. This is the best robot ever. Thank you, everyone, for helping me get it. Especially you, Nana. My pleasure. And for helping me, too. Him. 
Can I go back to my favorite cereal? Oh, no, Grandpa. I want to collect tokens for the clown now. Huh? Only joking, Grandpa. <laughs> If you spot the treasure, let me know. Ah, oh, nothing in here either. It's really well hidden. Hmm? Zoo? There you are. Just to let you know that Zinnia is coming round to play. But I'm a super explorer. I don't need anyone else to find the treasure. Oh, but it must be more fun to treasure hunt with friends and play on your own. Hmm. All right. I'll just have to be a super explorer later. Sorry, Pork. We'll get back to our treasure hunting later on. All right? Got it, let's see. Wow! A giant box! Hmm. Now I can surprise Zinnia when she gets here. <laughs> Shh. Hmm. Waiting for Zinnia is boring, Pork. Hmm. Let's pretend this cardboard box is a car! Vroom, vroom, vroom. This is fun! Grandpa, hmm? can I turn this box into a racing car? I want to go for a drive! Oh, what a good idea, Zoo! <laughs> it was only going to be recycled anyway. Thanks, Grandpa! Pork and I are going to paint some wheels and some windows and a door handle onto it so that it looks like a real car. I like your car idea, Zoo, but please do the painting in the garden, eh? <laughs> Not in the hall. Don't worry. We're going to carry everything out now. <sighs> I can't see where we're going, Pock. I think I need my scissors. Is your car finished? Not yet, Grandpa. I've just got to get my scissors to cut out the windows. Oh, hold on. Let me help you. Uh, cutting out pieces of cardboard is a job for a grown-up. All right, Grandpa. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Grandpa. It really looks just like a real racing car now. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> oh, hello. 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 Have fun, darling. Mwah. Hi, Zinnia. I love your new car, Zoo. Could we go for a drive and take my dolls out? All right. Let's go. Hmm? Do you have to take all of your dolls? One's enough, isn't I'm it? I'm sure you can fit everyone in, Zoo. You'll have a lot more fun traveling all together than just by yourself. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, Zinnia. You can bring all of your dolls then. Goody. Bye, Mom. Bye, Grandpa. See you later. Have fun. Have a good trip. <laughs> Hi, Zoo. Hi, Zinnia. Can we come with you? 
Yes, please. Can we? Okay, but hurry up. Come on, everyone. Hop in. Hey, careful with my dolls. Sorry, Zinnia. <laughs> Has everyone got their seatbelts on? Yes. yes! So here we go, to the racetrack. Can't we go to the seaside instead? Okay, I'll drive you there. Oh, no, I'd like to go shopping with my dolls. The beach is this way, Zoo. But the shops are that way. No, we're going this way. No, we're going that way. Zinnia! All right, all right. As we can't decide where to go, I'll take Elsie to the beach and Zinnia to the shops. And then, Zach and I can go to the racetrack. Vroom, vroom. I'll come back and pick you up. See you later. Bye, Elsie. Next stop, the shops for Zinnia and her dolls. Here we are. Thank you, Zoo. Bye, Zinnia. Bye. And off we go. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Hey, Zoo, could I drive your car on the racetrack? Well, actually, no, you can't. You don't have your driver license, Zach. And it's my car. That's not fair. It isn't any fun being a passenger. I want to go to the beach with Elsie. <laughs> Where shall we go, Pock? <laughs> You're right. It isn't any fun driving on your own. <laughs> but I don't want to go to the beach. Or to the shops. It's hard to travel with other people because they all want to go different places. But on your own, it's just boring. I'm sure you'll find a place that everyone agrees on and I've got something that might help you. Really? And what's that? A lovely picnic basket full of sandwiches and fruit juices. Yay! The basket's in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah! Grandma made it earlier. I love picnics and with my friends it's going to be great. Grandma! Grandma! I've come to get the picnic baskets! It'll give you plenty of energy for your drive. Enjoy! Thanks, Grandma! Do you know where you're going for your picnic? Not yet, Grandma! <laughs> Zoo? Why aren't you with your friends? I'm going. But I just had an idea. We don't need to go far to find a great place for our picnic. Thanks! Elsie, Zach, Zinnia, come and see what Grandma has made for us. Wow! Looks yummy! Mmm, delicious! And I've got an idea. Why don't we have our picnic in the garden? I found the best place. Yay! Where is it? There, under the big tree. Let's sit on the grass. What about at the garden table? Oh, let's not start arguing again. Look. Puck is waiting for us. And Sue's right. Under the tree is the best place to have a picnic together. You're right. Let's go. I'm in charge of sharing out the sandwiches. The first one is for Zach. The second one for Elsie. The third one is for Zoo. The fourth one is mine, and the fifth one is for my dolls. Uh, to be shared with Pop, too, of course. <laughs> it's delicious. I'm happy that we're all together. It's much more fun than being alone. Yes, you're right. Time for everyone to go home now. Oh, no. It's too early. We're still playing. And my dolls haven't finished eating yet. And we haven't finished our drive. <gasps> I've got an idea. Everyone, back in the car. Mum, to get back home, we've got to drive the other way round. And Zach can be our driver. Yes! Oh, thanks, Zoo! Have a safe journey, then. Bye, Mum! 
We're on our way. See you soon. Everyone got their seatbelts on? Yes. yes. Ready, Zack? Ready. Full speed home. Yippee. Row, row, row. 